Hey, Rob here for Quadratech. Today I'm excited to get started on our next build up. I've got this 80th anniversary granite crystal wrangler in the shop up on the lift. And as you can see, I've wasted no time stripping it down. I've already removed the plastic front and rear bumpers, those stock wheels and tires and loosened up those suspension components. So we'll be ready to start installing our new parts. Now I've got a pile of stuff from ARB and Old Man Emu that we're gonna be installing on this Jeep over the next coming few weeks transforming it from a run-of-the-mill Wrangler into a vehicle that's ready to spend an afternoon on the trails or maybe a weekend or longer overland adventure. All right, here on the table, I've got their three and a half inch BP51 high performance suspension ready to go for our Wrangler. This kit includes everything from front and rear track bars to control arms, as well as all the brackets we need to bolt on these monster BP51 shocks. Now, if you haven't already, you're definitely gonna wanna make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you're sure to catch the complete buildup of this Wrangler as well as the rest of our videos. Again, over the next few weeks, we'll be building up this Jeep and you're not gonna wanna miss the installation of any of these components from ARB and Old Man Emu. Now, this kit has been designed to be compatible with all trim level Wranglers. If you're installing the suspension on a Sport or Sahara model, you're gonna see three and a half inches of lift over the stock ride height. On on a Rubicon model, you'll see two and a half inches of lift over the stock suspension height. As I mentioned, we've got front and rear adjustable track bars on here so that we can recenter the front and rear axle after we install this suspension. We've also got adjustable front lower control arms here so that we can fine tune the caster angle of that front axle to give this Wrangler excellent on-road manners. These heavy duty control arms are also using dual durometer style bushings in here. So we're sure to see plenty of flex and articulation when this Jeep is headed off the pavement. Of course, we've got all of our isolators needed, extended sway bar end links for both the front and rear. And of course, as I mentioned, all those brackets needed to install these remote reservoir adjustable BP51 shocks. Now we'll come back to more of the details on those shocks once I get them installed on the Jeep. This kit is also available with your choice of either light duty or heavy duty springs. Now, if you're gonna be using your Jeep more as a daily driver or maybe just a weekend warrior, the light duty springs should be perfect for you. If you know you're gonna be loading your Jeep up with heavy steel front and rear bumpers and maybe lots of extra gear to do longer trips, you're definitely gonna to wanna to look at those heavy duty springs like I'm gonna be installing on our Wrangler here in the shop today. Now, I'm not gonna waste any more time. Why don't we go ahead and move on to the installation so we can take a closer look at some of the components up in the front end. With our front end components installed, let's check out these BP51 shocks. Now, the name itself stands for bypass with a 51 millimeter diameter bore. Now in the more traditional style shock that your Jeep probably came with from the factory, it's gonna be a velocity sensitive dampening style shock, meaning the faster your shock is compressing, the higher level of dampening force that's going to be applied. With a bypass style shock, it's actually gonna allow some of the fluid that's inside the body of the shock to travel around the piston, giving you a more comfortable and controlled ride initially, yet still applying higher levels of dampening force as that shock reaches the end of its range of travel in both compression and rebound. Now the BP51 shocks also happen to be an adjustable style shock, meaning that you can change the amount of fluid that's traveling around the piston in both the compression and the rebound range of motion. By simply using the included adjustment tool, we can spin each one of these collars right here on the body of the shock to increase or lower the amount of fluid that's passing that piston there on both rebound and compression strokes individually. That's gonna allow you to fine tune exactly how your vehicle rides. Now these BP51 shocks feature an internal floating piston similar to a monotube style shock. Now in a traditional monotube shock, that piston is gonna take up some space there, limiting the amount of travel of the shock. The BP-51s feature a remote mount reservoir, and by moving that internal floating piston out to the reservoir, 
It's going to free up that travel space in the main body of the shock so as to not limit any of the travel of your BP-51 shocks. As an added benefit, using that remote mount reservoir and by moving some of that fluid out there away from the main source of heat when this shock is cycling through its range of motion, especially during high performance driving, it's going to help your shock to remain cooler, keeping it more effective so that you can stay under control with a nice, comfortable and predictive ride. Now, the BP-51 shocks are a simple bolt-on install. They feature a mounting bracket down here on the axle side to move the body of the shock away from the axle tube so there's no clearance issues when you're running through your range of articulation off-road. And that reservoir also features a simple bolt-on bracket that utilizes existing fasteners and mounting locations there in your frame. At this point, why don't we go ahead and move on to the rear suspension and we can check out some more components in this kit from ARB and Old Man Emu. Now here at the rear suspension, we've got those matching BP-51 shocks installed. They go in just like the fronts with some relocation brackets down here at the axle to give us plenty of clearance, so we're not going to have any interference under articulation. We've got this clamp up here that secures the remote reservoir right to the main body of the shock, and of course we've got those two collars so that we can adjust the rebound and compression of the shock. We've got this great guard that installs down here on the bottom to protect the shaft of the BP-51s from any rocks or debris that get kicked up from the trail. We've also installed those extended sway bar end links, bump stops, and that adjustable track bar here in the rear. We've got one up front as well, and those are gonna allow us to perfectly center those axles under the Jeep once it's back on the ground. Now, finally, we've got those heavy duty three and a half inch springs installed here in the rear. Old Man Emu is utilizing their X5K high grade spring steel to wind these springs and they've been tuned for excellent on-road handling and great performance off-road as well. Now for today, I'm gonna to go through and wrap up by torquing all of these fasteners back to factory specifications. And then next time, we've got a new ARB stubby front bumper along with a winch that we're gonna be installing on this Jeep. So you're definitely not gonna to wanna to miss out on that. Of course, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification icon. So be sure to catch that video. And if you like these, do me a huge favor, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button as well. Now, if you wanna get more information or to purchase an Old Man Emu, three and a half inch BP-51 high performance suspension for your Jeep. You can click that info button to head over to quadratech.com. Of course, if you have any comments or questions about anything I installed today, you can always leave this for me down in the comment section below or contact us directly at any of the options on the screen. Till next time, I'm Rob. I'll see you guys out on the trail.